Ever hear about these guys, uh, old school fishing team out of Chesapeake Bay? They slay the striped bass. You gotta check these guys out. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Wow, that's a cow. Now that looks cool. We should just outfit the boat with these rigging rods. <laughs> Dude, you got the fatty. Nice. Right, we gotta go run and get Eric. And rig up a bunch of these. That's a fatty, Tim. I mean, uh, Mike, Tommy, where the hell's the name is? Cheryl. <laughs> Susan. Duty. <laughs> Turn her loose. Record him. Woo! All right, let's run real quick, guys. Good job. Good job. Uh, throw a waypoint on here. We're gonna come right back here, guys. Oh, oh they did just you blew up right here. Bottom. Yep, that's it right there. That's it. Right I see they it. They just got blue up on. Yep. All right, get ready. Sandwich away, Tim. <laughs> no sandwiches for you. Dude, we're, we're only about 50 yards away from that original waypoint. We should be coming up on it. There it is. Drop it down. Drop it down. Someone's going to whack one. Great and deep. Just get under the boot. Give me some room. Under the boot. Tim is hooked up. I almost got a line in the water. I almost got a line in, Tim. <laughs> What's going on? In? Keep his head in the water. Okay. Bring it to me, man. Hold that. Bring it to me. Keep his head in the water. You're gonna lose him. Nice. Wow, he swallowed a damn jig. It's not in there. It's right there, kid. Ah. Keep this tight, Tim. Pull up. Tommy's hooked up. Yeah, it's going off here, guys. It's going off, boys. <laughs> going off. I didn't like not having a screen. Look at that oh, screen. Huh? I didn't like not having a clicker on. <laughs> no sound effect. Wayne, look at the screen. <laughs> Put it down. You'll hook it up. You'll hook up right away. Is it 12 feet of water? It's covered up. Little bait. Yeah. Yeah, they're on both sides. It's a camera behind me. Oh, Tommy's hooked up. Bring him to me, Tommy. That's right. That's right. That was a blueback herring spoon. Jeez, look at the screen. Right down here. He's hooked up on a popper. Where's it? Nice. Good thing you got your own camera going, Eric. That's your first cast on Eric's po on uh, Alan's popper. Ted, run back. Don't don't cast over him. Look, I'm chasing your spoon. Dude, this is. Remember when I was a little kid and I used to watch wrestling on Saturday mornings, and it was always absolute pandemonium. It's absolute pandemonium. I love that word. Pandemonium. That's Alan De Palma's uh, new popper. You know, I don't know what what he even calls his popper. Look at that yeah. screen. Yeah. Wow. You got one, Tim. Catch a fish, man. They're all under the screen, under the boat. Yeah, man. Wow, Eric. That's my new beast reel. That's the first fish on that reel. I like it. I got one of the old ones on. Those old uh, Revo Toros. I really like them for salt water. It's that low gear beast, left-handed. That's a good fish. Show me after. Okay. <laughs> it's a good fish. They're all good, man. I don't care if it's eight inches, eight pounds. I don't care. They're all good, man. 
Oh, yeah. Now he's off. Okay. Now he's off. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Tim, holy cow, look at that. <laughs> now he's off. Whoa! Tim, holy cow, look at that. <laughs> you had a really good one, Eric. Tim, what's going on over here? Dude, that's a good one. Oh, Wayne, what's going on, man? Whoa! <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Well, it's another nice one. What do you want? Turn this star forward. Oh. Right here. Hold this camera on. Keep his head in the water. Keep his head in the water. You're going to lose him. He's a green fish. He hooked on the way up. So. This got to be the one that I had. He hit that one. No, what it was was you had, you were reeling yours in, and there were 10 other stripers following yours. Nice one on a spoon. Very pretty fish. Woo! What? All right, who's up? Somebody catch one. I'm going. <laughs> Hurry up. This is the lucky rod yeah, you, you want. Are, you no, no, keep doing it, Tim. All right. Everyone's got a rod. Everyone's got what they want. Are we still marking? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They're down there. That popper's important though, man. That popper brings them in. Yeah, they're on both sides. Oh, Tommy's hooked up. Tommy, you gotta get him. That's a green fish. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to get my pliers. Oh. Getting smaller. <laughs> Stop messing with the small ones. I want to get the big ones, all right? Well, fish, fish is a fish to me. I don't know how many that is. They're are. all over the screen. All over it. <laughs> Four or five in about 10 minutes, yeah. Bass. Can I catch one now, Tommy? It's a 1978 ugly fish. <laughs> exactly what it is. Let's do the screen. Red lights on? Yep. You sure? Yep. Man, I just had one on the Predator and it came off. Holy cow, look at out there. You gotta watch this. Okay. There he is. Jeez, broke me off. Sound like getting dropped in the water. That wasn't a blue. Tommy picked up over here. Sorry, I didn't want to tell anybody. I got, I got decent pliers. He's got a what? He's got a hook stuck in his hand. In his hand? Yeah. Another one. You got one? We're open fish, so you better get in here quick. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> He's my videographer. I'm gonna bring you everywhere I go now. <laughs> and your biographer too. <laughs> Those scissors have a good cutter in the side of them that cuts hooks really well. Okay. So it, might, it doesn't look very okay, strong, but does. Yeah. No. Come on, you won't, you won't hurt nothing. You won't hurt nothing. How bad is it, bro? At least you're in the meat, you know. Yeah. Sorry guys. No, all right, you'll be alright, brother. Alright, we'll, we'll return. Alright, good luck. You'll see the uh, uh -oh. what are the odds of doing that, huh? Yeah. You'll see in the side of those scissors, there's a cutter in the side, it actually pops hooks pretty good. Okay, sweet. Let me see, I'll make you famous. <laughs> Thank you guys! You're welcome! Nice. I have a hell of a first aid kit, so when you bring it back, take this first aid kit and treat it. Oh, we got one in here. Okay. I have like an EMS kit if you need it. Oh, 
about to go off here. I don't want to take care of it. Coasting up on it. Look at back there behind the school. Side of it? Yeah, look at behind it. Whoever's casting bloods, I would cast. There they are. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Cast? Oh, yeah. See, also the clicker really helps. I mean, it's cool for the video, but it also lets me know what's going on. If I'm in the back, I can hear the drag going. Sometimes the drag is too tight, it's not paying out, and I, I can tell that from the other side of the boat. So, the clickers are good for a lot of things, not just a bait alarm or a lot, you know, a strike alarm. Good one. Lots of like nine, ten pound fish in here. You know, a couple points. Tommy whacked another blue fish. Eric has got one on. That's another good striper. Oh, yeah. Won't break any rods. <laughs> like I said, so I cannot break this rod. You got a bass? Wayne, I need your help, bud. Mike. Okay. Oh. Nice oh you don't want that hook floating around it's here. Nice bass. Got the fish? Yep. Kimbo. Told you wrong. Had the wrong color on too. We got it. Very pretty. Yeah, you don't ever step on my boat with sandals. <laughs> you know it's a rough, rough place to live for a fish and a human being. Good job. Yeah, I got it. Alright, cool. Well, look me up too, uh, Joe Greco Fishing. Instagram and YouTube. I'll tell Gecko? Yep. Stuffy green fish. You're welcome, sir. Do you want that blue fish? Yeah, keep that fish. What's up? Yeah. I remember I caught a fish one time. One time, one summer. <laughs> one time at bank camp. One time, one summer, I built a veranda <laughs> with no tools and no wood. 1978 ugly stick. Before they had the ugly stick light. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. That's what I like about these Ben Parker spoons, man. Those treble hooks are so strong and nasty. Yeah, if you got them deep in the mouth, you can just grab the spoon and lift. So I was casting that toxic bunker and uh, I only had one hit in about 20 casts. So I put the combat on, which is the smaller size, same color, toxic bunker color. And I got about five casts with this. Can you hear that? Yeah, if it's right available. Yep. Coming, coming at you. He's a real fun fish to catch on the grass. Right. It's that toxic bunker color that me and Alan came up with, the team old school color. That's a good one there, guys. A little better. That is wonderful sound. Alan De Palma's custom baits. This is that toxic bunker that the team old school didn't your color. Come on now. Come on. Let's balance it out. <clears throat> Come on, baby. <laughs> Fish. 
Yeah, these combats, they come with just the hook in the front. There's no tail hook, just in the belly. Turn so I can see. Too much weight on one side. Good work. 32 inch fish. Nice. He doesn't know it though. He thinks he's a 42 inch fish that he's fighting. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. We have still marked a large fish on the Okay. All right. Oh, big, big boy. Big girl, big boy, whatever you are. Tell me. Good job, brother. Thank you, Alan. Feel him? Oh, see that swirl? Dude, if they swirl behind it, reel in a little faster the next time. Give them less time to think about it. I know a knee-jerk reaction a lot of times is, oh, he's behind it, but he, he keeps missing it. I'm gonna reel in slower. I find that if you reel in a little faster, you'll hook fish more than by reeling in slower. You kind of give them less time to think about it, try to get that reaction strike, you know? Hooked up. Hooked up. I almost got to cast that plug. He's hooked up. Wayne's hooked up Fine. on the 1978 ugly stick. You went from the long, he went from the long rod to the short rod. Wayne, how many fish did you catch on the long rod? None. Zero. You went to the short rod, first, first time cast. you dropped hooked up. The short rods mean help a whole lot, man, with a spoon. The short rods give that that action, that short, pumpy, jerky motion. There's long eight foot rods, give it a long sweep. I'm not saying you can't catch fish on jigs with long rods. Lots of guys do, but there's definitely an advantage and a lot uh, more, and a lot better use of your energy with a short rod. I see the leader. I see the leader. I see that top shot. I'm gonna hit the boat. That's it, walk to the edge. So Tim, what were you doing with the jig? What are you doing? Because you're catching a lot of fish. Explain what you're doing with it. Uh, getting jiggy with it. Um, I just... <laughs> I'll just get jiggy with it. First, I just hit him in the top of the head. <laughs> Boom. All seriousness aside. You got him in the top of the... Oh, yeah. It's a pretty one. Look at that right there. Sorry, Tim, I got a cast of that popper. <laughs> Look, he's got this fish on over here. Is yours good? Yours a good one? It feels good, huh? All right. I got fish breaking everywhere. All right, bring them to me, Tim. Oh, Tim's got a pounder. Tim's got a pounder. Hold that. I'll drop it. Wow, Tim. Oh, that fish. Good job, bro. Thank you. Pretty fish. All right, now I'm gonna go whack one with a pop. Good job, Tim. Oh. There you go. Let me see yours. That's, that's, let's take it. Take a fish. Take a fish. Take a fish. Take a fish. TV star one day. Don't wait too long. You're gonna show them to me because I'm gonna cast. <laughs> Good job, bro. Good job, Wayne. Old school. Jeez, look at this, man. Jim, I'm gonna. Wait, you reel in this one? Oh my God! Oh. Look at this. That? Look at the fish over here, cat. Eric, are you okay? You need help? I'll get it out for you if you need it. Walk it down, Tim, because I can't get it right here. Hold on. Just tighten that spool on the side. Tighten the tensioner. Another butte. Bigger Tim? Hmm. A little bigger one? Is... I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If it's a stronger fighter, I'm just getting tired. <laughs> there we go. On the BKB. Double, double. Nice. Oh, yeah. Swimming at me? Yep, swimming at me. This one's smaller. Whoa. Oh, you spit him out the boat. It's okay, you can record me. <laughs> This one feels a little strange. This is those Bass Candy Delights. Guys, 
you, you, you need to get some of these in your box. These these brands and stuff that I'm throwing at you, some of these guys I work with, a lot of them I don't. I don't know Ben Parker, I don't know his spoons, I don't know nothing about the guy. I just know his spoons work really well. Uh, the BKD guys and guys make the BKDs. They're really, really good people. I'll put a link for these things. And uh, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Alan De Palma's custom baits too. But you can see that BKD when it comes up. See it? Nine inch. Excuse me. Oh. You know, you can cast a, a, a bait caster, right? Yeah. All right, ready. That's that nine inch BKD. Top water wasn't working quite as good. I mean, we've got a couple on poppers, but a lot of short strikes. So, you get short strikes where you have to cast more than 10 There's times. Another one, stripper. <laughs> nice. Nice. Go ahead and put a BKD on and work it a little slower. If you look at it in the water, can you see in the water here? I did jerk, let it sink. Jerk, let it sink. Jerk, let it sink. I go with no weight usually. It's a lot like a sluggo or a fluke. And uh, you're going to show them how to do it right now. Cast with, I'll cast towards the beach with this thing. The reel's all set up. <laughs> These are all such healthy, such fat fish. They're not giant guys, you know. These aren't giant, giant fish, but they're a whole lot of fun. They're very healthy. They're very nasty. Someone hooked up. Yeah. Oh, yes. look at this guy, Wayne. Wayne whacked one right. What'd you do, man? Wayne, Wayne whacked one right. What'd you do, man? On the BKD? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yep. PYT. Bass Candy Delight. Man, the people that make this, it's a family affair, guys, who make these Bass Candy Delights. I'll put the link Slammed in. Slammed it. Slammed it. If you want to support really good people, and it's my favorite, it's my favorite soft plastic. That's old school. Pretty, pretty. Nice fish. <laughs> these baits come in six inch and nine inch. You can use them weighted. You can use them with a jig head. If you use them weighted, I would use an all pro Slayer jig head. They got the, the living rubber on there and the hook swings on an eyelet, a lot like a parachute rig. So a lot of good action that way and you lose less fish because that hook can swing. I'll put a link to there too. You know, what the heck, put them all in there. It's the all pro Slayer jig heads. Those jig heads with these BKD bodies are great. Six inch, nine inch, whatever you want to do. This one is weightless right now. Look, he just coughed up a porgy. He nice. just cost up a little porgy. Nice. Here you go. Good that catch, brother. Thank you. Truce and green BKD. What a fight on this rod. Yeah. I mean, you got a little screwed up here, but I don't think they matter. Go catch another one. See a little porgy? <laughs> Lots of fish on side scan. Fish under the boat. Still on the screen all over. Eric, you might have to cast. I know it's into the wind, but that's where they are. See? <laughs> we'll hold on to that for a sec. Hooked up. Spit it. I don't know, I'll spit it. But it's it. See, we can only come here. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh! Dumped it! Dumped it! Come get it! Oh, son of a bitch. Why did you get the leaf on that? Dude, you got a monster. That's a monster, Eric. I don't want to get your line. That's a monster. You still taking line? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got, the, he's got a haul. Did you hear that thing? Tommy, just play this rod for me. He's got a, he's got a toad. Loosen that drag just one more click. That could be, yeah, because that was a big, big fish. Oh, right at the pole. <laughs> Look, he's still after it. 
That's the BKD? Yep. Yeah. I feel really good hooking a fish on a BKD because those big J hooks, you know, better than like a small treble. You ain't even let me reel yet. Awesome. I saw him hit. You see the splash that fish put off right here next oh, to Oh yeah, I just started twitching it after he hit the first time. So that fish hit, or one fish hit, came off and you started to crank in, right? Yep. And then your fairy godfather said, drop it back down. That's me, I'm his fairy godfather. You want to know if you have a good friend? And you have a friend who's on the bay? Getting blown up and comes back to pick you That's up. That's right. He's on his way to the ramp. We found these fish while we're trying to get bait. Fish everywhere. Get a text from Eric. I'm at the dock. It's a seven mile ride each way. <laughs> Real, I did, you know, to everyone's, ah! to everyone's testament. I said, we got to go. Look at that fish popping out there. I said, we got to go get Eric. And not one person whined. I was expecting it. That's old school. But nobody whined. Let's run and get Eric. Leave him biting. Now, go back, he fish. That's right. It's, it's called juju, man. Juju on the water is a real thing. Good juju. You right there? You back? Yeah, my back's all open. Yeah, my back's hurting too. My back and my neck. My neck, my back, my back and my neck. My back, my neck, my back and my neck. That one doesn't have a clicker. Yeah, the beast doesn't have a clicker. That um, we're not sponsored by Abu, but I really like those guys for uh, these saltwater bait casters. He's I mean, not done. He's gonna run again. Yeah. They're not super duper great reels, but they are. It is a, a good high quality it's reel for its size. Yeah. Low gear, guys. Get low gear on these. You don't want high speed. You have no power with high speed, and chances are you're gonna work every bait too fast, and you're gonna get tired. Low gear, guys. And you'll find that people have low gear reels in stock. Everyone buys high gear because they just think, I'll just slow down. It's a big mistake, it's a common mistake. It's an easy mistake to make, to be honest with you. Go to low gear reels. The only thing I don't use for a low gear, gear reel is a, a jig for slow pitch jigging. Because you want to, sometimes we drop it down, we jig, crank, jig, crank, jig, crank, jig, crank. And you want one crank to take a lot of line. Other than that, low gear for everything including these and although we are all righty several of us use a lefty reel with artificials it's crazy three of us use lefty reels for artificials we're strange good fish man yeah he's a 30 upper 30s upper 30s inch fish 36 37 inch fish Whoa, Whoa, he is I'm heavy. Sorry. I'm sorry, he's a little bigger than he I thought. He's chunky. Yeah. I don't want the camera to look quite as big, but <laughs> we'll stick him out and fix that problem. Good, Ready. good, good fish. Very good. High quality fish. Good job, Eric. Let's Fantastic. Turn it loose. Turn it Same color BKD. I think that's lime shark. Good job, brother. There you go. Here you go. There you go, come on. Gotta let her give her give her a couple minutes because she was working it. Come on, baby. I think the boat's creeping forward if you want to turn the fish around. Oh, oh. There we go. Good little head shake. Straight down. Good, Good job, brother. Good job. Good job. Look at them all chase it. Yank, yeah, Timmy's got it. <laughs> I saw him bite it before you felt it. Yo, okay, Jason, drop it down, drop it down. There's a bunch of them. Who's getting off Jason? Okay, Jason, okay, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him bite it. Drop it down, drop it down. There's a bunch of them. Who's getting off Jason? Okay, Jason, okay, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him bite it. Drop it down, drop it down. There's a bunch of them. Who's getting off Jason? <laughs> Keep his head in order. Keep his head in order. Tim, you're a lunatic. We made a rule when we came here with the jig. What was the rule? No surprise hits. No surprise hits. Feel the hit before you set the hook. Uh. Now, that was the definition of a surprise hit. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Woo! 
So Chint, you didn't tell us how you're working the jig because you caught as many fish as anyone, if not more, especially on the spoon. So what are you doing with it? I don't know. I just drop it and pick it up. <laughs> drop it and pick it up. I put in a dollar, I want a car. Put in a dollar, I want a car. Put in a dollar, I want a car. Come on, man. Acquiring minds want to know. What are you doing with this thing? I try to drop it right on their nose. <laughs> and then... First, you got to find the nose. Tighten that drag one click. I know people are watching this saying, yeah, anyone can catch them. You know, they're, it's a blitz, man. They're everywhere. And that's true. A lot of truth to that. Because they're almost any color out there. But there are some baits that are working a heck of a lot better than others. All right, I'll put the clicker on just for some. Okay. Woo! Woo! I had to get the dang pliers. Good fish there, Timbo. Thank you. Catch another one. People ask about boat noise. You know, be real quiet, be real quiet. I was a trout guide when I was a kid. We were super duper quiet in the boat. I mean, opening a bag of potato chips, we break each other's hump. You know what I mean? That ridiculous to be that quiet. And, uh, you know, striped bass, you know, I kind of did the same thing when I, when I was catching stripers as a kid. And then I started to learn that the biggest stripers, the laziest stripers, go to all these commercial boats, lobster boats, clam boats. They're throwing bycatch back. They're noisy. There's chains. There's banging. There's anchors. There's guys slamming hatches and hoods, doors. And those big bass follow that noise. But I find you make a lot of noise, they'll come right up to the boat. They'll come right up to the boat, especially bigger fish. Fresh water, the same thing. Probably more so in fresh water. Make some noise. Guys make these thumping machines. I'll just put a little picture of one in here. Just a hammer that drops and makes a lot of noise. Thumping just on the bottom of the boat. Brings them right in. So a lobster pot comes up, right? And there's 20 short lobsters in it. Where do those 20 shorts go? Right over the side. That boat's making noise and they're throwing small lobsters back all day. I don't think I need to say more, right? Those big bass know that. They see those lobsters falling down. They get trained. Don't be afraid to make noise out here. I got a camera on you though because that screen was lit up with fish off to the left. Through there. And that's where you cast it, so. Oh. Wow! Jeez! <laughs> Lots of fish on side scan. Fish under the boat. Wayne's World! Wayne. Wayne's got a. Wayne's got a slob. Tommy's got a slob. Oh yeah. And the screen is side scan. Uh oh. Tommy's got one under the boat. Yep. Run up and around. Run up and around. Keep cranking. Get that rod way out. Get that rod way out. Tim, watch. That's it. All the way around that motor. You got it, Tommy. You got it. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh oh, you two are both a thrasher. Oh, that's a good fish. Yes, sir. A little better. Thanks. He's got one on the 1978 ugly stick. 78 or 72, I forget. I looked it up though. Well, I know it's old. Yeah, I wanted to know the date, the year. I think it's the first year that came out. Still on the screen, all over. Eric, you might have to cast. I know it's into the wind, but that's where they are. See? Casting into the wind with a weightless BKD. Southern side. Here, I must have done a blue. Snapped you off? Yep. Lost my spoon? It's gonna come out of your paycheck. Oh. Don't lose that one. Oh, you're thumbing it. No. What's the rule on this boat? Don't thumb the reel. Never thumb the spool. Never 
Ever. Ever. I thought I Ever. had broken off. I think Thumb he took up the slack. Is what happened. Thumb the spool. But a spoon. Good. Cause I was. I thought we lost a Ben Parker spoon. Yeah. What ZZ Top song was popular in 1978? <laughs> I was three years old, so I don't know. Look at that. They're all over the screen still. They're drifting right with us. I put it over there. Oh jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Tim, you gotta hook. keep his head in the water, Tim. Now when I say splashing, we don't want to see because when that spoon is underwater and the fish can thrash, the water controls it and slows down the spoon, right? If it's in the air, it can thrash and be lost. That's why you lose them. You're pulling their heads out. Doubled? Yep. So that fish hit while you're reeling in or what happened, Tim? Yeah, well, no, like, normal. Come up with you? Tim was dropped in his head as a child. You see them all? Wow, that's a big fish with him. Something huh? very big. Yep. Look at the size of that fish. Yeah. Drop your jig down, bro. Get that jig in the water. Get caught up on him. He's right here. Drop the jig down. Right. You see the size of the fish that was with it? I do. Yeah. If he loses that 10 pound fish, we don't we don't care. Tim, what you got there, buddy? Same as him. <laughs> Same bigger. as him. Sup, beggar. That's what you hooked up, Eric? Yes, he Eric, is. Eric, what was going on? Keep that rod right. high. Keep that rod bent, brother. I still got time. You drive. I'm hooked up. Oh, 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 oh. Tim only catches water buffaloes. As soon as he hooks them, he yanks their heads out of the water. <laughs> That's the Rich Colston rod, custom rod. Rich Colston's the man. Head first custom rod. Thank you, you guys, Rich. You guys want a great rod? Great jigging rod. Great any kind of rod. He'll make anything you need. 78 ugly stick is getting her done. There's no doubt. Blue. Is it? So. Definitely smaller for sure. Hi, fishy. Hi, Mr. Fishy. You were pretty. That's how old turned up. <laughs> That's like you throw the pliers over and then drop the fish in the bottom of the toolbox. All right. The reason these spoons are working is because we're very shallow. There's lots of bunker in here. They're big baits. These are eight inch spoons. And the reason I like a flutter spoon in this situation over like a diamond jig or a, uh, you know, a slow pitch jig, they call them all different names for, you know, just, just a solid piece of lead basically is the jig I'm talking about. Those jigs don't work as well in this situation on a vertical presentation because we're only in eight, nine feet of water. So flutter spoon catches a lot of water. And as we're drifting, the spoon puts the line has a lot of scope on it. And the spoon gets away from the boat and it kind of flutters out there. You can drop it, you know, rise it, drop it, rise it, drop it. And the flutter of that spoon kind of lets you use it in shallow water. Where a diamond jig or a uh, slow pitch jig, butterfly jig, straight down to the bottom, up, straight down to the bottom, up, straight up. You really can't slow pitch jig because one or two cranks and the spoon is up. These flutter spoons, you can kind of let them flutter away, reel them in, squid it to the boat, just reel it steady, drop it down, reel it steady, drop it down, reel it steady. Sometimes they hit like that. But you want to try to feel the fish. You want to feel the fish before you set the hook. In other words, no surprise fish on a jig, right? That's what you're trying to do. It's okay when you get started out to find a surprise fish. And what I mean by surprise fish is you're just doing this, and this, and then, oh, there's a fish on there. You should be able to feel the tick on the way down. When you master the jig, you'll be able to find, feel the tick on the way down. And to feel the tick on the way down, you have to make slight contact with the jig on the fall. Now, if you make too much contact or keep the line too tight on the fall, you're going to kill your spoon's action. So you got to keep the line slack still when that spoon is falling, but only about three or four inches of slack. And what I do is I just catch up with the spoon and I let just a few inches of slack ride on the water. And I can watch it, I can see that line jump and I can feel the jump when he takes just two or three inches out. So only try only two or three inches of, of slack and you feel that tick, especially with Brady if you're jigging, you'll feel that tick and you can set the hook 
and then kind of get away from surprise hook sets. You'll catch more fish that way, especially when they're acting funky and they don't want to really slam the jig. They just want to barely touch it. On those days, you'll catch a lot of fish if you can learn how to catch a fish on a spoon without relying on the surprise. Surprise light right. in my face. That's right. Oh, you see the one following it? One, yep, there's one following it. I got that one following. <laughs> that was good because that didn't look like a surprise strike. It looks yeah. like you felt that one. Oh, my boy. Feet, <laughs> Jump up there. Go over the top of the motor if you need to. Don't pull them into it. There you go. There go with that motor. A whole lot of silliness out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Pretty. That rod is so short, it's, it's, like, it's hard to keep it bent sometimes. It's got good feel to it. Yeah. It does. Yeah, you don't have much you don't have much to work with that rod. No. Screws holding that rub rail in. Ooh, ooh, not bad. Tommy, what you got? A fish. Fish. Tim, you oh! Tim's doing trick fishing now. Oh, that spoon went flying by your ear. I'm gonna sit up. I'm so excited we got Tim can. It's <laughs> rubber biscuit. I can't believe I couldn't count how many fish I caught. Do no wrong. Right? There's just so many fish on this wind blown side. Got an $800 spinner reel on an $18 rod. <laughs> what do you think that rod cost in 1978? Probably about 24 bucks, right? I doubt it. Maybe less than that? Less than that. Well, I remember Probably I said... Probably got it. I had two guys. <laughs> nice. Two guys. Uh, yeah, two guys. That's right. K-Way. I remember I saved up for my first ugly stick light. In and... Uh, 27 bucks at Kmart, and I shoveled so many driveways. <clears throat> you take it. Shoveled so many driveways to get that ugly stick light. I know your younger generation has no idea what that means. <laughs> Shovel driveways. <laughs> but yeah, ugly nice. stick light. I'll never, I'll never forget the ugly stick light. It was 27 bucks. That's a nice fish. Okay, it was Kmart. Fish. Turn loose. That's not a Kmart fish. Yeah. It's a K-Way. Long male. Pretty fish. Pretty fish, Eric. Good job, brother. Another Ben Parker. One of these days I need to meet Ben Parker. Say thank you for your lovely spoons. And you're now watching Team Old School Striper Fishing. On the tuna.com. Team Old School Striper Fishing. <laughs>